we're in this age of humans where we're supposed to become a force of nature. They call it the Anthropocene. How has this affected your artwork? I mean, has is it, is it changed what you do? Yes, it, it has. And a, 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 a quote which I like, which would be relevant, is what John, Jean Cocteau said, um, art is science made visible. Right. And so in my painting, I nearly always have seen what the scientists have been doing to understand how the thing works. And then I try and show how the thing is working in the Anthropocene, you could say, by making images of it. So an example would be a, a river which has been affected by the Anthropocene right. and how I show the, the movement, the, the primal movements of the, the river and the, and the water plants. And because all of them have now been affected, uh, I am saying something or revealing something about the Anthropocene. In the process of telling something very particular, it, it speaks to the more global effect. So f the water plants, the river, is telling you something about the whole globe, in a way. Absolutely. Uh, William Blake said, nature shows its power in minute particulars. Absolutely. And uh, so, uh, it's astonishing how a grasshopper, a grasshopper's wing, you draw that with great care, that can be saying things about how we're affecting the, the, the universe, but it's also saying something about letting that grasshopper tell us something. A number of artists have become involved in environmental activism and environmental productions. And I wondered, uh, you've been doing this for years and years, um, whether you think there's anything that they shouldn't be doing or they're not really doing right. Uh, in my, this talk, I'm going to say that um, the great landscape artists, Turner, uh, Von Gerard, Caspar David Friedrich, uh, were all environmental artists in the most fascinating way, especially from hindsight when we look at what they were doing. The fascinating thing here, most of the younger artists, a lot of the younger artists now who are wanting to say something and be angry and cry for the environment, um, are, are, are try, being far too didactic. It's almost like uh, and, uh, and bossy. And, <laughs> I, I, and the result is that the art itself is not very good art. Uh, some, somehow we've got to get to a, a stage where, it's, where we are very subtly being didactic, but we're also showing things about the structure and the movement of the earth. John, do you think that it helps to keep one's focus on the everyday, on the small, we go back to this Blake, the universe in a grain of sand. Do you think that by focusing on the very particular and the very local, we can stop that sort of hubris where we we preach at people. I think that's so true. It's so true. It's, and that is why painting, which is, um, and video and photography, is such a direct uh, link and vision of something very particular. And in my case, very often, something very small, uh, but which I set into the, the big primary great movements of the biosphere. Well, I think I, I, I try and do that, but it sounds very pompous for me to say that. 